Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter one, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So all we have to do is count the number of tens. That is 10, which, or sorry, that is two, which means it will be 10 with an exponent of two. So in word form, just like this guy over here, it's going to be the second power of 10. Okay. Okay, so now over here, our base is gonna be 10, just like before, but we have one, two, three, four of them. So then the fourth power of, and I probably should have written out 10 on this guy, so just keep that in mind, okay? So your exponent matches the number of tens, okay? It also matches the number of zeros we will have on one of our other things. So you'll see on number four that we have 10 to the power of three. So that means 10, but with a total of three zeros. That's a thousand, okay? Which if you do the math out, then it would be 10 times 10 times 10. Well, 10 times 10 is 100 times 10 again is 1,000. Matches up, okay? So on these guys, it's a little bit different because we have a four, but then we just have 10 to the power of two, which means we're going to be multiplying that by 100 because 10 times 10 is 100, which means we have two zeros, which is the exponent. So your total is 400. Okay, let's try one more, okay? We have a nine, our exponent is four, so we're going to have one, two, three, four zeros, 90,000, okay? You guys do the next ones. You totally can, I believe in you, all the way up through 11. We're gonna go down and do number 12, okay? Number 12 says the moon is about 240,000 miles away from Earth, what is this distance? Written as a whole number multiplied by a power of 10. Okay, so 24 is going to be our first number. Then we're gonna say times and 10, because that's always our base. And then we have one, two, three, four zeros, power of four. Okay, let's try number 13. The sun is about 93 times 10 to the sixth miles from Earth. What is this distance written as a whole number? So again, 93 is gonna be our first, and then we're going to have six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Okay, we're gonna go over onto the back. Oh, and we should probably label that miles. We should also label this one miles. It's talking about miles, word problem, word answer, okay? So we're gonna go over onto the back now where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always. And I'm gonna go down and do number three. It says, Harley is loading 625 bags of cement onto small pallets. Each pallet holds five bags. How many pallets will he need? Well, so 625 divided by five. Okay, five will go into six one time, which one times five will be five, subtract, I get one. I'm going to bring down my two. Five goes into 12, two times, two times five is 10, subtract, I get two. I'm gonna bring down my five on the end. Five goes into 25, five times, five times five is 25. When I subtract, I get zero. So my answer, is going to be 125 pallets. Okay, number four. Mary Lou buys a package of 500 jewels to decorate four different pairs of jeans. She uses the same number of jewels on each pair of jeans. How many jewels will she use for each pair of jeans? So we're gonna say 500, and we're going to divide that by four. Okay, so, 
4 goes into 5 one time. 1 times 4 is 4. I subtract, I get 1 left over. I'm going to bring down my first 0. 4 goes into 10 2 times. 2 times 4 is 8. I subtract, I get 2. I'm going to bring down my very last 0. 4 goes into 20. 5 times, 5 times 4 is 20, I subtract, I get 0, we have 125 again. So, 125 joules. Okay, number 5. Manny buys 4 boxes of straws for his restaurant. There are 500 straws in each box. How many straws does he buy? So we have 500 times 4. There's 500 in each box, and there's four boxes of them. So I'm going to take off these two zeros, and I'm going to put them at the end. And then 4 times 5 is 20. So he has 2,000 straws. Okay. Cammy goes to the gym to exercise four times per week. Altogether, how many times does she go to the gym in 10 weeks? So we have four times 10, which I know everybody knows is 40, but we're just going to take that zero off and put it on the end, and then 1 times 4 is 4. So that is 40 times. Okay, guys, thanks for hanging out for 1.4. Come on back for 1.5. See you soon.